everyone, this is uh, Sean Crawford with Rainwater Management Solutions. I'm here today to talk to you about the SBA submersible pump. This one's the SBA 3-45. It's got a lot of great features. Uh, it's really good for our applications for rainwater harvesting reuse. Um, you can take that water back in the building, irrigation. But uh, I'll show you a few really neat features about this, this submersible pump. It's an on-demand pump, which means once you drop it in, this float switch goes up and this allows the pump to cut on. The pump will cut on and build pressure until it meets a set pressure and it will cut off. So it's got an advanced controller in here that tells it to cut on and off. Most submersible pumps you put in are just gonna cut on as soon as you plug them in. So that's what I mean by on-demand pump. Uh, another nice feature, it's got about a 45 foot long cord. It runs off of uh, 115 volt power. It's got a built-in float switch. So that float switch protects it from dry running. So if the water gets low, cuts the pump off and make sure you don't run the pump. Another really good feature for rainwater harvesting reuse, or really if you're just collecting any type of water into a storage tank, is an elevated intake point with the floating filter. So they have a floating intake. This allows you to take water from the middle surface of the storage tank. So you're not really at the top, you're not only at the bottom. It just floats up and down with that. And that's a built-in unit, it's integrated. So this pump is really a good, just kind of plug and play turnkey solution to get it going in. It also comes with a hose adapter. So if you ever wanted to take this straight to a hose, all you do is thread this into the one inch top. And then this part threads into a garden hose. So you can take that right out. Also has a barb, so if you can go right into a tube if you wanted to as well and tighten that down. So it's got a couple different options for connecting to whatever your outlet is. It's important when you're putting this submersible pump to always make sure you have a quick disconnect when you come out. So if the, if the plumbing is coming up and out of a storage tank, uh, things like unions or pitless adapters are common. Those are really good because they'll help you uh, extract the pump when you need to. So always think about when you're installing these pumps to make them serviceable. So if one goes, breaks down 10, 20 years later, you're gonna make sure you can pull it back out and put a new pump in. All right, thank you.